Hi and welcome back to Devon Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today we're here to make a little lunch sack. Perfect for that little one in the family that needs to take lunch to school. And instead of using Velcro today, we're going to use cam snaps where we simply put it on both sides, roll it over, and then this creates the little part of the bag that you can grab and take your lunch away to school. All right, so let's get started. So you're going to need a few things today. First of all, you're going to need some fabric. You're going to need exterior fabric and lining fabric. And they measure nine inches wide by 12 inches high. And you're also going to need some Shape Flex 101, which I've already put onto the back of my lining. And you're also going to need some fusible fleece which I've also put onto the um, exterior fabric, but you wanna make your fusible fleece just a tad smaller, about a quarter of an inch smaller than your piece. Okay, so as I said, the fabrics are measuring uh, 9 inches by 12 inches. The Shapeflex 101 is the same size, but your fusible fleece, you want to have that about a quarter of an inch smaller all the way around. Okay, and you can adjust that if you want a bigger bag, you can just adjust the sizes. You just do exactly the same as what I've done um, that I'm going to do in the tutorial. The other things that you're going to need is a cam snap setting tool and some cam snaps you're going to need two sets of those and you're also going to need your general sewing supplies so thread snips marking device um, you're going to need tailors all maybe pinking um, shears and a pair of sharp scissors and of course you're going to need some rulers a working sewing machine with matching thread and an iron and an ironing pad and in case you need some best press to press out your um, fabrics before you put any of your fusibles on all right so i'm going to move all this out of the way and we're going to get stuck straight in to making our bag okay so the first thing that you want to do is you want to cut all of your fabrics as i said these are nine inches wide by 12 inches high the only different measurement is your fusible fleece and you want to make that a quarter of an inch um, all the way around so that's about mm, about eight and a half by eleven and a half all right and our lining is the same size and our Shape Flex 101 is the same size as our lining. The next thing that we're going to do after we've pressed them on, we are actually going to cut out the bottoms of our little bag so we can have a square bottom. And the way to do that is just to grab a pen, and it doesn't matter what side you do this on, and you're going to get your ruler and you're going to basically come down to the bottom and you're going to line up your two inch um, mark on your ruler and you are going to draw a line at the top and at the side of your ruler and then you're going to do exactly the same thing for the other side and you're going to repeat that for all four pieces and what this does is squares up the bottom of our little lunch bag okay so once you've done that you're going to grab your scissors and then you're just going to cut those out on the line And the same for the other side. And the reason I use my scissors is because I don't, I don't want to go into this part of the fabric. I want to get a nice clean corner and I don't want to go too far. And if you use your rotary cutter, you might run the risk of going too far in. And you're going to repeat that for the remainder of your pieces. Okay, so once you've done that, what we need to do now is to create our little bags. The first one that we're going to work with is our lining piece. And we're going to turn them so they're right sides together. And all our raw edges are aligning up. And we'll grab some pins and just pop them into place just to hold it all together. You don't need too many pins. And like always with all bags, we need to leave an opening and we'll do that down the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, we don't need any pins at the top here because we're not going to be sewing there. But down the bottom, we need to leave a little gap. And I usually just do about a two inch, maybe almost three inch for something like this with a bit of batting in it, fusible fleece. And I know that I've got to leave that open. So when I come to sew here, what I will do is I will backstitch at the beginning of this um, side here and when I come to that line I'll also backstitch there and I'll do the same over this side and that's going to give it extra security when I turn it out because you're putting some strain on that seam and if you don't reverse or do a backstitch there it'll just pop open on you. Alright so the next thing that we'll, we'll do is exactly the same thing for our exterior fabric except this time we don't need to leave a gap down the bottom. Okay so set that aside and you can use clips or pins for this one. It doesn't really matter which, which one you use. But line all your pieces up. And then pop some clips or pins on. Alright, so now that we're ready to sew, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to use a quarter inch seam allowance and we're going to start at the top here, do a backstitch, come down to this end here, do a backstitch, do a jump over to here, backstitch at the beginning and at the end and then the same on this side. But the top here where we've got no clips or pins, this is not where we're going to be sewing. It's just down our sides and across the bottom. It's the same for our lining fabric. We're going to do our two sides, but down here we've got that opening that we need to leave. So don't forget to leave that opening there or you won't be able to turn your bag through. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to pink our sides here. So all we're going to do is take our pinking shears and we're going to take some of the, the seam allowance off and that's going to reduce the bulk in the bag and in our seams. So to do that, we just want to cut, but cut along here without going into our stitches. And down the bottom here, we just snip up to where we've sewn to and then we just snip off with our thread snips or our scissors that little bit and we don't where the opening is we don't pink that because we want to use that to turn in and then we'll repeat the same with our exterior so once we've done that we are now going to box up our corners and to do that all we do is we just pop our fingers in there bring our seams to match up and have them nesting and then just pop a clip on there and the same on the other side and we'll do exactly the same for the lining as well okay so once we've done that what we're going to do is we're going to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance straight across and we're going to back stitch at the beginning and the end we're going to do that for the lining and also for the um, exterior fabric
right so now what we're going to do is we're going to just pink those areas that we just sewed get rid of some of that bulk again try not to go into your stitching very important otherwise you will have to re-sew it and the same for the exterior basically what you do for one you do for the other with um, when you're making bags Get rid of that rubbish. The next step is to turn our exterior in the right way. Push all our corners out. And then we're going to take our lining, which we're going to leave in the wrong way. And we're going to take our exterior and we're going to pop that inside that. And then where our seams are on each bag we're going to line them up now you should be able to put a pin in this and I prefer to put a pin in this because otherwise they can move when we use the clips okay and then we'll go around to the other side and do the same thing lining up our seams and our raw edges as well Alright, so just put your hand in and get it all to sit down and you'll see that the the edges will the raw edges at the top will settle down. Okay. And then you can start clipping around. You just want to make sure that they're lining up with both the um, exterior and the lining. And you just work your way around and next we're going to sew this closed. All right, so to do that, we're going to remove our um, toolbox off our sewing machine. Now, if your toolbox doesn't come off, that's fine. All you need to do is sit it under the machine like this and make sure that the top piece is out of the way. You want to start on a seam and then you'll work your way through. But if you have a free arm, it makes it nice and easy. We just take that off and then we insert the bag over the arm. You might have to adjust your wonder clips so you can get it under your presser foot and then we're starting as I said we're starting at that seam and I just like to put my needle in the down position and then I'll remove that pin and I know that it's going to hold in place now and then I can start stitching and we're using a quarter inch seam allowance for this and we're not going to reverse at the beginning we'll do that at the end Okay, so we've stitched that down. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to get our pinking shears and we're just going to take some of that bulk out. All right, the next thing to do is we are going to reach in and we are going to pull out our exterior fabric. So we just reach in as far as we can. And grab our exterior fabric, separate it from our lining and then we're just going to pull that through and you'll continue doing that until it's all the way through and as you can see i'm sort of twisting and turning it at the same time to make it a little bit easier i'm just peeling it back on itself all right tuck that in and at this stage I just like to get a, like a poking tool or something like that and just stick it in to get all the corners out on our exterior fabric and um, make sure that they're all poked out really well alright okay All 
All right, the next part that we're going to do is we're going to fold our bottom in and we're going to stitch that closed. And using about an eighth of an inch seam allowance. It's hard to do up in the air. Okay, so we'll just pin that. And same over here. And now I'm just going to do an eighth of an inch to stitch that closed. You can hand stitch it if you want to. Alright, so now that is stitched closed, we can now get rid of any long threads that you've got and then we can push our lining down into our exterior, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get this to sit a little bit neater. Okay. And to do that, we've just got to roll our seams because we don't want it to be like a, a faux binding. We want it to go down so we've got a nice edge. All right, so you're just going to have to play with it a little bit. And we just roll those down and then we'll grab our iron and ironing pad and we'll give it a really good press before we top stitch it. So you can see there, just by rolling that down, rolling the two seams between my index finger and my thumb, it is going down a little bit better. Okay. All right, so I'm pretty confident that that seam is sitting nice and straight in there now. You can see there that it's sitting nice and flush, but once we press it and then we um, top stitch it down, it won't move at all. All right, so let's grab our iron and I like to start at the seams. We're just gonna put our iron in there and then slowly give that a good press all the way around. And we don't want to see any of our lining fabric on the outside, but on the inside you may see a little bit of your exterior fabric and that's okay. And next I like to give the, I'll just fold the bag down like so, and then I'll just give it a nice press as well before we top stitch. on the other side okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to lengthen our stitch length and I'll show you on this one hopefully you'll be able to see it so you can see there that my stitch length is quite long okay this on my machine is about a three and a half to four millimeter okay um, so yeah that's what you want it and what will happen is it'll make it easier to go through the bulk of the bag and it'll also make for your top stitching to look straight as well and if you've done any top stitching before and you look at the top stitching and it looks a little bit jagged or a little bit wobbly that is because you need to lengthen your stitch length all right so again i always start on the side on a seam and i'm going to do an eighth of an inch uh, seam allowance. I'm going to lengthen my stitch length. I will put my needle in the down position to start with and I'm not going to back stitch at the, begin um, at the beginning. I will do that at the end.
Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to get rid of all our long threads. Ones on the inside as well. Okay, and you can see there, I've still got one long thread hiding there. So you can see there that I've just done an eighth of an inch seam allowance all the way around. Okay, and next part is putting our cam snaps in. All right, so the re the, another reason that I iron the uh, bag flat is because it makes it easier to do this part. All right, you're going to grab your cam snaps and your cam snap tool. We can put all our scissors and everything away now. You're also going to need your uh, tailor's oil, your pen, and all of your cam snaps. And you need two sets, remember? And then our setting tool. And this is super easy. All we need to do is come in three inches and down half an inch. So by to do that, we're to do that, we just line our three inch mark up on our side seam and the top of our ruler with the top of our bag. And we're coming down about half an inch. All right, and we've come in three inches. And then I will just make a mark there. And then I'll get my tailors all and I will poke a hole in okay then I'm going to get one of my um, pieces that look like a drawing pin or a thumbtack and pop that through and then I will get a female piece and pop that on so you can see there it's sitting there like that and then I'm just going to get my um, cam tool and the black bit is where the drawing pin part sits and I just slide it through and I line everything up and then give it a gentle squeeze. Now you don't want to give it too much of a, a squeeze because you can crack the snaps. All right I'll lay that flat and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'll lay that against my side seam and I'll come down half an inch and come in three inches and make a mark. Then I will get my tailors all, poke that through. Again, another piece that looks like a drawing pin and the other female piece. Yep. And do exactly the same thing. Okay, so that is one side. On the other side, we're going to do the same thing again, except we're going to come in three inches and down approximately two and a quarter inches. So we line up our three inch mark on our side seam, and then we line our two and a quarter inch mark up here. And then we make a mark. And again, we get our tailors all. And poke that through and get our male part for the front. Now this is a little bit more trickier to, to get the tool in, but it can be done. You just wiggle it around and you get the fabric to bunch up in the throat of it and then you'll just line it up and give it a squeeze lay it flat again making sure that our seams are at the side okay and then we're going to again come in three inches and down two and a quarter making sure it's straight Okay, so once you've got your cam snaps in, you just it's ready to go. It's all finished and all you need to do to close it up, once you've put your lunch in, you just roll it over and then snap that closed. And that is your little lunch pail done. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed making the little lunch um, sack for that little one in, in your life. 
they're a great little um, bag to have they're not only used for lunch bags you can also use them for electrical cords when traveling or your medication when you're traveling or anything like that they're a perfect little quick project to make if you like this video today don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below and if you've yet to subscribe please subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you get all notifications and then that way you're not going to miss out on any of my future uploads and as always leave me a comment down below and uh, if you've made it this far don't forget to leave a little a bag emoji in the comments as well and that's it for me today have a wonderful day everybody happy sewing and i'll see you all